Hello everyone. My name is Vaibhav Wadekar. I am Lead Tech Support Analyst here at BMC Software. I'm going to show you how to sync ITSM and HR case user. You can refer online product documentation from which I followed the steps for this video tutorial. As you can see in my screen, the HRCM can be installed on the system where the ITSM has installed or it can be installed on a separate system where ITSM is not installed. So there are two ways uh, with which you can sync the user. It is against the local AR system. Uh, when I say local AR system, I mean that ITSM and HRCM installed on the same AR server and the remote AR system. In this case, uh, the ITSM is on the remote box and HRCM is on a separate box. So these are the two steps. So in this video, we're going to take a look how to sync user in the local AR system. But before we start, we have to learn why the user sync is needed. So if you have a BMC MD IT service management deployed, we must synchronize ITSM self service users with BMC HR case management as part of the post install configuration so that the existing ITSM user can view the HR solution articles within BMC My IT. As you can see in my screen, I logged into the HRCM server and opened the form Coal Core Groups. Basically, this will tell what are groups is actually available within HR case management. And as part of user saying some of the permissions from this group get assigned to the ITSM user so that they can view uh, the articles and solutions. So you can log into the system uh, where ITSM and HRCM installed on the same box and within quick links you can find HRCM ITSM sync consoles. Once you click that it will open a console like this on my screen you need to click on create job and basically select the existing ITSM company and the HRCM company and then here you can see which default data group that you would like to set up you can get the exist by clicking on get count you can get the number of users available in ITSM for the specific company once you create a job, click on the load data. You can see all this user get loaded. And once the load data uh, step is successful, you can see the status as load successful. The next step is to validate the data. So once you click on the validate data, it will go ahead and validate the users. And once you load and validate the user, the next step is to promote data. During validation phase, it will go ahead and check whether the user has email address and uh, require fields to have the user sync. So once you click on promote data, you can see these are all users got promoted. You can see verify the sync is successful by going to the user form and take a look at the group list. Once you see the case viewer, HR administrator kind of permissions available for users to assign, then the sync is successful. And the last uh, step is existing ITSM user can log into my IT and uh, see whether you can able to see the HR cases and HR solution within my IT. So that uh, give you the results that the HR sync is successful. In case of remote AR system where the ITSM is configured on a remote system, uh, the steps are exactly same, but before you continuing with HR sync console, make sure that both local and remote AR is configured as part of DSO. You can refer the online documentation to configure the DSO steps. And after you configure the DSO, you have to run the same step that we earlier covered. The workflow that is associated with the HR sync console is as shown in my screen. These are the filters, form and escalation associated with the sync console. For some reason, if there is a problem with sync uh, for troubleshooting, you can always enable the API filter SQL and escalation log prior running the sync. These are the steps needed for syncing the users between ITSM and HR case management. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.